guys. Um, today I got some things that helps me helped me to organize my makeup a little bit better, at least better than what it was. And I wanted to kind of share that with you and show you what I've done and how I've made my makeup collection a little more organized than what it was. Um, it may not be perfect, but it's definitely better than what it was. Um, so if that sounds interesting, if it's something that you'd like to stick around and see what I've done, um, definitely do that. I know before I wouldn't show you the mess <laughs> that I had, um, mostly because it was just that that was a mess. And um, I did my best to try to contain it, but it still was a little bit difficult to do. So nonetheless, here it is. Um, I'm going to show you my bathroom for probably the first time you're going to get to see a lot of my bathroom sink. Um, I've actually cleaned it up. So <laughs> if that sounds interesting, stay, stay tuned and you'll get to see um, just what I've done to make it a little bit better. Okay, so you're going to be able to see me in the mirror, I'm sure, plenty. So I just wanted to let you see me. Um, I am going to use this little thing to hold it. Um, so hopefully I don't, I'm not too shaky. Um, I'm going to try to hold it as steady as possible. So this is our bathroom sink. It's kind of small, yes, but it gets the job done. There's only two of us, so um, there's just a few things I'm going to talk about. Uh, most of the time, the whole, th all of this, all, it's all covered. <laughs> I hardly ever have it this neat and organized. So I want to start over here. This little box, um, it's like a letter, like mail sorter, I think, um, and I got it at Marshall's. I paid eight dollars for it because it was a little damaged, which I'm okay with that. And I did take a little bit of the paint off as I was peeling the sticker, but that's okay with me. So I stuck my little hand mirror in there that I have, but these are all of my palettes that I've got stuck down in there. So then I, I'll just show you my palettes real quick. This is my blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star. aren't slippery. This is my Mary Kay palette. One has eyeshadows and one has my uh, cheek products and bronzers, different things like that. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I have it upside down. Jaclyn Hill palette for Morphe. This is the very first one she did, not the, uh, the last one she just came out with. Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. Soft Glam, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Thirsty palette from Jeffree Star. The Warrior by Javius Place. Uh, the Nubian 3 Coral Palette from Javius Place. The con uh, Mini Controversy. Uh, that was Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Palette. And then, if I can hold it. Uh, this is the Disney Designer Collection from ColourPop. So, I like that I can just like have them all in here and just go for them when I need them. Um, so that's just really, really nice. I really, really like it. So, it just fits in there quite nicely. I had it organized really nice. I'll go back and do that in a second. <laughs> um, I'm going to stay with that organization. Okay, so coming over here in the corner. I got this little cup from Amazon. It was, I think, $10.99. And it's actually like a really good plastic. I probably could have found something cheaper if I'd like went to Marshalls or something like that. But I just ordered it from Amazon for whatever reason. So, um, that's where I got that. It has all my brushes. These are all my eye brushes here. And then, sorry for the noise. This is all my like cheek brushes and face brushes. And then all those on that side over there are my Mary Kay brushes. And the reason I just grouped those together is because um, I know where specific ones are. Uh, like I have my foundation brush over there. That's the one I use a lot. So it's good to have that there. I do have my satin hands right here. Of course, my skincare's here. This is the one palette I have that would not fit in my little palette organizer. Um, and it's just because it's so thick. So, I just stuck it back here. Back out of the way. Okay, so this is the Big Daddy. <laughs> um, this is what I paid 
um, $33.99, I believe, for. And this is what I'm super excited for, what is keeping most of my makeup organizing together. So I'm just gonna start from the top and work my way down. Here I have, I'm just gonna move this real quick so you can see. Um, here I have eyeliner. It would be my liquid eyeliners and just like crayon eyeliners. And then here I have brow products as well as lip liners. And then here in front, I have my satin lips. Um, I've been using that just, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go like crooked there for a second. Um, I've been using that pretty regularly here, it seems. Um, so I put that there. Um, I also have this lip scrub. I got it from like CVS or something. And I really haven't used it a lot. I found it in my purse and I thought, well, I'll just stick it there. Maybe I'll use it. Who knows? Um, but here's my foundation. I use that, of course, daily. This is my little pads I take my makeup off with at night. I have um, some concealer back here. I really don't reach for this a whole lot. It's kind of watery. Um, but, you know, I paid money for it, so I'll probably use it <laughs> just to get it get it gone but um then I have my mascaras back here um my infinity my lash not infinity my lash intensity and then my ultimate mascara my roller lash and then my um L'Oreal lash paradise as well is hidden back there the spray on the end that is the um make it finishing spray these are all of my lip products the only thing that's not a lip product is this here that is the this don't fall out. If it doesn't fall out, <laughs> I can't even talk. Um, that is my concealer. I use that on a daily basis. So that's the top of it. The thing I like most, I think, about this is I'm gonna try to do it one handed so that I don't dump everything. Is that everything kind of detaches, but it sets really good, and you know, I'm not worried about it coming apart. Um, it's very sturdy, but I can take it apart if I need to. So in this first drawer, I have um, all my primers. This is my Mary Kay eye primer, my foundation primer. This is um, some samples that I've gotten in the past. And who am I to waste a sample? And this is my some of my brow products. And then all of my tools, like my tweezers, any scissors that I might need. Um, a sharpener that I might need. This next drawer has some um, applicators I can put makeup on with. And then um, here is a highlighter. This is another highlighter here. Um, bronzer. The, these, I bought this e.l.f. thing, but these little things have, um, and I bought this Wet n' Wild, but these little things have come in like Ipsy Glam bags, so that's why I have these little ones. Um, but this is a blush, and this is a bronzer, and these three back here are just little single eyeshadows. I might put these somewhere else. Those are kind of out of place. Uh, this next drawer. This is a Wet n' Wild bronzer. I use this one um, kind of regular, you know, here and there. This is a um, highlight. I can't even think straight, guys. A highlighter <laughs> that I got from um, an MC Glam bag. This is a lip gloss from Milani. I'm sure it probably came from like Walmart. These are some other concealers. Um, this is the Elf Hydro. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is one of <laughs> an oldie but a goodie, the um, Age Rewind uh, from Maybelline. And then this one is one I had from when I used to be the Estee Double Wear Junkie. Um, this was the concealer I got to go with it. I don't really prefer that concealer because it's very drying, but like I said, who might have waste money? Here's a lot of my Mary Kay lipsticks. Um, this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip, lipstick. I actually got this, I think, from um, Marshalls. So I paid, like, probably next to nothing for it. This is my Fancy Nancy Mary Kay lip gloss. 
Red Roma lipstick. Midnight Red lipstick. Uh, trademark Pink. The next drawer here. These are some ColourPop um, lipsticks. These actually were in the um, Princess, ColourPop Princess collection. Um, I love Disney growing up, so I think I more than anything bought that just because I love Disney. Um, so this is uh, the Belle lip color. And then there's also Ariel, which is really pretty. So I think that's why I probably bought those, to be quite honest. Uh, and then I have some Kylie um, matte liquid lipsticks. They um, they're good. I don't I don't really like the smell. This is actually a lip gloss here um, with the Kylie and Coco, which is uh, Chloe, her sister. They collaborated. And that's where I got those from. Um, I'm not crazy about the smell, so. Honestly, I don't use them all that often. Um, here is a liquid lipstick. This is a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. Um, it's the uh, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collection. This is the shade Shane. I won't probably wear this on my lips, and that's why it's in this drawer. I'll probably use it as a liquid eyeshadow. But then here are all of my new spring Mary Kay liquid eyeshadows. So that's why those are all together. Then, over here, these are all my liquid lips from Jeffree Star that I didn't put up top that I don't wear these as often, um, but I do wear them. So, as you can tell, they're nudes. <laughs> I like the nudes. And here are my false lashes with the glue, some more false lashes, and I don't really have to take up space with those, but it's just a nice way to store. These are just some like odds and ends, um, things that I've bought over the course of time. Um, of course, my applicators, my sponges, but then um, some lip glosses, lipsticks. Um, these are actually unique products, I believe, mostly. Um, some, um, mascaras and, um, a lip stain. I've had a lip stain, um, for like ever in the day. But, um, I don't reach for them as often. And I might actually put them away to be, and just like kind of save some room. And make that my sponge drawer. Who knows? Uh... This is my powder drawer. Oh, a liquid, I mean, not a liquid, a lipstick ended up down here. This is the dark one. I probably won't wear all that much. But we'll stick it up here. Okay, so here are all my powders. What do you know? It's Jeffree Star. <laughs> that is like one of my favorite powders. I really like this one. Um, here is my Mary Kay translucent powder. Maybelline Fit Me um, Loose Finishing Powder. It's milled really finely, and it's a really good drugstore powder. So, if you're looking for a drugstore powder, got you covered. So, but I love that I can, like, you know, you can see I could take and put smaller drawers in there if I wanted. So, that's one good thing about that as well. So I could condense, you know, make them smaller if I wanted to. But I actually like these bigger drawers, so I may get bigger ones in the future. Who knows? Um, I like that my lashes actually fit in there. I don't wear false lashes all that often anymore. Um, but I have them for when I do. So, but yeah, that's my new makeup organization. Um, I'm very pleased with it. I think my husband's going to be pleased. <laughs> he has not seen this finished product yet. So, um, when he does, I think he will be pleased. So, um, I'm not completely finished. I think 
I may like move things around, you know, you know how you do when you um, like rearrange stuff. So I'll probably be rearranging for quite some time. So that's my makeup collection. Um, so like I said, I'll probably rearrange. I'll be, you know, rearranging for quite some time and just kind of putting things where I want them, where they'll be easily more accessible to me. Um, you know, my brushes, I'm not crazy about the location of them. I'm just trying to more keep them out of the way um, where they're at and where they're located. So that may change in the future. I don't know. <laughs> I can't say for sure. But um, yeah, I might change where they're, where they're located. So um, but yeah, I'm just really proud of myself for going through my makeup collection and doing a little bit of organization and, you know, just really getting things done. So, um, if you know me, it's a big task to go through my makeup, um, and to really part with some stuff. So I've done well. I know I still have a lot. I'm not trying to act like I don't have any makeup left. Um, but I do, I have a lot, but you know, to each their own, I enjoy makeup and that's what, you know, I, I choose to spend my time and money on. So, <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. I hope it wasn't too boring for you. If you've stayed this long, hopefully it wasn't. <laughs> you've enjoyed it that long. Um, so thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you've got questions about any of the products that you saw in the video, I'd be happy to answer. Um, I like you. I don't just stick to Mary Kay as much as I love it. Um, there are some products that aren't Mary Kay that I like that I use. So, um, not that, you know, you have to stick to one brand. I think that there are all kinds of makeup out there for a reason. There are all kinds of different brands for a reason and, um, you know, do what suits you. And, but I also think that, <laughs> think that Mary Kay is a wonderful brand and I think that some of it you should have in your collection for sure. So, and the number one thing I think you should have for Mary Kay in your collection is the skincare. So definitely consider that. But nonetheless, um, thanks for sticking around, enjoying this little bathroom tour with me. And I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next, in the next video. Bye.